Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir Gama and this video is a part of my YouTube video series all about music business for independent artists. Okay, so this video series is all about, you know, different insights and knowledge about music industry and music business that every independent artist must have and, you know, must know. I tell this in every video and I think I will keep telling this in every video because I do not know how many new visitors are there on any specific video. So everyone should have this insight. There are a lot of things which music labels are experts at like big music labels, Sony Music, T-Series and UMG, Warner Bros Music and Spinning Records and all of those big giants. But independent artist does not even have any idea about it and you know that hurts me a little because this information is not available on a lot of platforms for free and i've paid a lot of money in my earlier days and a lot of time of mine to learn everything that i know right now and i'm giving it away for free to the community via my original youtube video playlist all about music business for independent artists and you can check that playlist from here from top till end and without further ado, let's get into today's topic. This video is going to be a short and sweet video. This basically is a very different kind of a video from the videos that I make for music business. So this one is basically, you know, a doubt for a lot of people like musical artists or music producers, specifically music producers who are just starting out and they do not have much to invest financially because it's not paying you right now. It will eventually in future but right now it's not so you must be knowing the topic of discussion for today's video from the thumbnail and from the title of the video which is where to invest money in initial stages of your career as a musical artist or a music producer see when people start out they think that they need a whole big casio or a keyboard or a midi keyboard to start their career as a music producer and they need big giant screens, two screen setups with HDMI's and you know a gaming cabinet setup of CPU with high uh, graphic cards and you know all of that stuff with RAMs and SSDs but you do not need all of that stuff if you do not have the investment in the starting stages. You do not need even you know monitors through which we listen, the speakers, you do not need even those in the starting. So uh, yeah it's true you do not need them. People think that the monitors are the first thing they are going to invest in when they are going to set up their studio and they do budget cuts in all the other things. But that's not ideal, at least in my perspective. So everyone has a different perspective. But in mine, you should not cut your budget in some things. I'll tell you right now in this video. But before we move ahead, I want to tell you something special. If you want to learn music production, mixing, mastering, or even music business, I am offering specialized, dedicated courses for all of these. And these are not video courses which are pre-recorded. These are live courses in person with me, online or offline. And you can access every detail you need to know about these on my website, which is sargama.com. And also mentioning the website, we have currently redesigned the website and added great educating articles about music business, beat licensing and all of that stuff. Now mentioning the beats, I also want to tell you that I sell beats online on my website which is sirgama.com slash beats so if you are a singer or a rapper I might have the right beat for you let me know on Instagram if you like something also for all my YouTube subscribers and my video viewers I have specific limited time offers on all my courses as you can see the timer going on my website so grab the seats before all the seats are booked and yeah see you in there let's continue to the video cool so the first thing you want to invest in is a good laptop i'm not saying a great laptop but a good decent laptop see the minimum ram and uh, storage that i'll prefer that you have is 8 to 16 gb minimum so if there are 12 gb ram laptops available go for them but 16 gb is more than enough in the initial stages at least when you are starting out so 16 gb of ram of your laptop and one terabyte or even 512 gb like 512 I guess yeah 512 GB of storage is also sufficient in your laptop only if you are doing music production and nothing much more like if you're not a gamer you are playing games and all that stuff so if you're a music producer and you want it specifically for your music production thing 512 GB uh, HDD which is hard drive and uh, 12 GB or 16 GB of RAM is recommended so if you have this that's enough to start your musical journey and the second thing which was my best investment ever 
when I started as a musical artist or a music producer was my audio interface and my headphones. So I have money saved up and I took some from my parents as well in the starting days. But then I thought of, you know, investing all of that money in a great audio interface, which I've been seeing in YouTube videos of big YouTubers and big music producers and all those stuff and a set of monitors, acoustic foam room, like everyone thinks and dreams of a home studio like that, yeah? Acoustic foams and rock wool panels and all of those stuff. But I did not need that in the starting. To, you know, start out, you do not need acoustically treated room. I'm not saying that, you know, uh, please don't get me wrong here. I'm not saying it's not compulsory. Yes, you need it, but right now you don't. So there's a difference, like right now in my career stage, I need a professional studio with soundproofing and acoustic treatment which has rooms of rock rules embedded in it. But I did not need this when I started out, you know, three, four years back. So please try to expand with time and do not invest all you have in the starting and then, you know, wait for money to come in for a few years and stay broke all those years. So that's not ideal at all. So the best investment you have to make are in these three things, your laptop in which you'll make your music, your sound card or audio interface, which you'll connect with your laptop, which will help you to listen to enhanced or as flat signal as possible so you can make music more professionally. And the third one is great headphones. So I invested a lot of money, which I previously, you know, had for, what do you say, monitors. So like I saved up for monitors but when I researched everything, then I knew that monitors are not going to help me if I do not have acoustically treated room or something. And I was a bedroom producer back then. So it was not practical for me to turn my bedroom into a music studio with rock wool panels and, you know, isolation, acoustic treatment, soundproofing, all of that stuff. And I can place my uh, monitors and make music with a flat signal. That was not going to happen. That was not even practical. And it needed a lot much more financial investment so it's not cheap it's very expensive acoustic panels acoustic foams and soundproofing if you do it correctly i had to spend money on monitors and then i also have to spend money on all of these things so you know i was not capable of doing that in those days earlier three four years back i'm talking about so i invested my money into a great headphone and even my like siblings and my parents used to say this much money you needed for two speakers and you bought one headphone with the same amount of money what kind of smartness is this but that was the smartest move i ever made and i'll show you my headphones right now these are the headphones that i bought at that time which is bear dynamics dt 1990 pro so this video is not sponsored by anyone like i'm being very honest but I bought this earlier and this has not, you know, led me down any time. And these are open back headphones and I don't want to go into details because this is not a, you know, what do you say, a review or an unboxing video. I'm just telling you what is the best investment I could ever do. These headphones help me make a lot of songs, a lot of beats and I have done major commercial work with bigger brands that you can imagine, like big brands with these headphones. They do not even, like the brands did not know that I am working from a bedroom. All they cared about was a professional sounding music, which I was able to cater because I had great headphones and I knew how to reference my track with professional tracks. So referencing is very important. So reference tracks, what they do is, you take a reference track, which is similar to the type of music that you are making, listen to that track on your headphones or in your speakers also, you can do this. You reference that track and then you mix and master your original music in reference to that track. And these headphones are great. Like I'm using them till date on daily basis on each and every project. I listen uh, to the projects now on monitors also, but then I review all those things like the little details when I do vocal mixing and all of that stuff. I still do all of that through my Beard Dynamics DT 1990 Pro headphones. So these headphones I bought for 50,000. Uh, three years back, if I'm not wrong, 
and I do not think so that they have lowered the price. It might be still the same, 50,000 right now, 50,000 INR. I'm talking about 50,000 rupees, not dollars. And so this is the investment I did. So I had 50,000 rupees budget earlier to buy two monitors, but instead I went for this and I haven't regretted this decision like since then till now it's been three, four years. And as I told you, like I have worked with major companies and labels and artists and clients and you know brands with these headphones and they were not able to make a difference between a bedroom producer who is using just the headphones with a good audio interface i'll show you audio interface also right now and a studio mixed thing because it's all up to skill and how do you convert your music and mix your master your music yeah and the next thing is the audio interface because these headphones have 250 ohms of impedance which is resistance so if you plug it directly into your laptop then you won't be getting an ideal sound, especially not for uh, music production, mixing and mastering. So you need a sound card which can amplify and use a preamp to enhance the signal and you can listen exactly what you are making and what you are listening. So I bought this audio interface. Uh, to me also, it's you know sounding like I am promoting this stuff and I've been sponsored by them, but no, I'm not. So I'm just telling you the truth, what I did earlier. So this is Audient ID14. Audient ID 14. So right now there is Audient ID 14 Mark II is there in the market, but in earlier days it wasn't. So this was the best I could get in the budget that I was. So I got it for approximately 25,000, three, two, three, three years back, I guess. This is one of the best audio interface, which is there in the market in this price range. So it has, you know, uh, two XLR, like two mic inputs and two outputs for monitors and you can there is an optical input here also there is an attachment if you attach to optical input you can attach eight more instruments to it so you can technically play a complete band using this id 14 of audient so this is a beast for the price this is the only sound card or audio interface which use analog preamps for headphones this was the main reason that i bought this earlier because I was using only the headphones uh, and I, I did not have any monitors to listen to my music and mix and master to. Hence, uh, this was the only one which was providing analog preamps, which was the best thing that a headphone can get as a preamp. So that's why I bought this and I got the best signal that my headphones can via this sound card. So these three things are enough. So my laptop basically, sound card, and my headphones so these three things are enough for you to get your musical career started and you can also start making money you can do a lot of work with these three things you just need to know the skill of how to do it so i guess that's it short and sweet video and please follow me on instagram you will get my instagram username somewhere here and also the link in the description and please like the video if you like the content of this video and subscribe to the channel uh, you know, it takes a lot of effort, financial investment, time investment in making and creating these YouTube videos for you guys, which I'm doing it for free. So basically, I'm investing money from my pocket right now to make these videos. It will be great if you can support by hitting that subscribe and like button. And also, if you have any queries you want to ask me or you want specific videos on any specific topic, please comment down in the comment box. I'll be happy to help you guys. And if you want to listen to my original songs, you'll get the link in the description. I have recently launched a beat store. I'm selling beats also. If you want to check those out, link in description. Everything's linked in the description. So that's it. See you in another video, another Friday with another insight and another useful information. See you. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. Peace out.